He's vibrating the ground right now. He's flailing his arms up. He's got those little boxing gloves going. We've been waiting all week for this, and we may have just found the Fabio of jumping spiders. He is getting in there, and by in there, I mean in there. What is going on, wildlife warriors? You just hopped inside of the ambulance, and we are driving through North Central Florida right now. This region of the state has it all from the bold to the ancient and even the sexy. But what we're out here to capture is one of the smallest animals around, the common jumping spider. They have this very interesting courtship behavior where the male will throw his arms up, flailing it around and approach the female, vibrating the ground with his abdomen. If he's lucky, she'll let him mate with her. If not, she'll eat him. This episode is gonna require a pretty interesting technical approach. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You just gotta keep your eye out for it. This handsome fella is a common male jumping spider, native to Florida. Those balls on his head, that's four sets of eyeballs, giving him eight total and almost 360 degree vision. And for this guy's size, he needs all the viewing power that he can get because the micro universe is a dangerous one. This lady is as dangerous as she is sexy. He would be wise to steer clear. Jumping spiders are the athletes of the arachnid world. They can actually leap up to 50 times their body size. Before every takeoff, they anchor down with a line of silk. This young male has just entered sexual maturity and so begins the search for Mrs. Right Now. It's pretty crazy to think that he has to go through an onslaught of dead bodies just to get some action. If she likes him, she'll let him mate with her. If not, she'll eat him. And if she's my kind of woman, she'll do both. Oh my God. Okay, we've been waiting all week for this and we actually may have just found the Fabio of jumping spiders. He's doing his dance. He's got his arms going like this. We may have just found our stud. He is getting in there, and by in there, I mean in there. Oh my God, we just got our first mount. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. All right, he's on top of her right now. He's pulling out those sperm webs, and he is inserting it into her. Oh, you really want me to explain this to you right now? <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so remember when I said that this episode was going to require a different technical approach? To be able to film the jumping spiders, we had to recreate their natural environment inside of a studio setting. We got just about everything that we needed except when it came time for the courtship behavior. <laughs> they don't want to plow. they wouldn't perform under the artificial lights. So as soon as we got them back outside and the sun hit the male and those iridescents started to pop, that's when he became a hell of a lot more attractive to the female and uh, that's when things got sticky. Like my big daddy. Yeah, spider sex is happening inside of a, uh, I mean in front of us. Sometimes mother nature just gets the best of you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're feeling at all inspired to recreate your own studio setting, give it a shot because uh, it's pretty fun. This is one of the most prehistoric, unique, badass looking creatures I have ever seen in my life. 